A historic moment just unfolded in the world of robotics. For the first time ever, a humanoid robot has completed and won a full half marathon. Meet Tiangong Ultra, the first machine to cross the finish line after running 21 kilometers. Without a human pilot, remote control, or any external assistance. No shortcuts, no staged scenes. Just pure engineering, endurance, and innovation. Packed into a robot built to challenge everything we thought machines could do. Think about it. For humans, finishing a half marathon is a serious test of stamina and willpower. For a machine made of circuits and steel, it should be impossible. When most of us picture robots, we imagine clunky prototypes shuffling awkwardly in labs under the careful eyes of engineers. But Tiangong Ultra shattered that image and rewrote the rules. Today, we will be finding out how Tiangong Ultra's unbelievable run was made possible, and why it's far more than just a cool science story. If stuff like this blows your mind too, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Button. We're just getting started, and trust me, the future's only getting crazier. Before we race ahead into the future, let's rewind to where it all began. How did a machine even survive, let alone win, such a brutal challenge? It all starts with the remarkable design of Tiangong Ultra. It wasn't built for flashy headlines. It was designed by China's top robotics engineers to push the absolute limits of endurance. Tiangong Ultra stands at 1.8 meters, built from lightweight but incredibly durable aerospace-grade alloys. Its powerful legs house high torx electric actuators, giving it full control over every stride with surgical precision. These motors aren't just designed to power forward, they adapt on the fly. Each step recalibrates based on live feedback, terrain texture, wind resistance, internal balance shifts, thousands of micro-adjustments happening every single second. And beneath that sleek aerodynamic frame, that's where it gets interesting. Tiangong Ultra is powered by a dynamic balancing algorithm, enabling it to shift its center of gravity just like an elite human runner would. It leans into momentum, adjusts posture during downhills, and counterbalances against side winds with tiny, almost invisible corrections through the hips. But no runner wins on legs alone. They need a brain. Unlike traditional remote remote-controlled robots or stiff pre-programmed walkers, Tiangong Ultra thinks for itself, thanks to advanced onboard AI. It processes a constant flood of environmental data from sensors, gyroscopes, and visual mapping systems, predicting, reacting, and adjusting instantly to anything ahead. If a pothole opened mid-race, Tiangong didn't just trip, it recalculated its next steps in real time, shifted its weight subtly, and surged forward without missing a beat. Because one wrong calculation, one tiny slip, it could have crashed to the ground, ending months of preparation in an instant. Energy management posed an even bigger challenge. After all, running 21 kilometers demands brutal stamina, even for a machine. So engineers equipped Tiangong Ultra with a hybrid battery system combining dense lithium ion cells with experimental supercapacitors. This resulted in explosive bursts of speed when needed and smart regenerative recovery during downhills, borrowing tricks from electric vehicles to maximize endurance. But despite all the innovation packed under the hood, the half marathon wasn't smooth sailing, and its journey to the finish line wasn't without heart-pounding moments. Around the 14-kilometer mark, winds picked up sharply, reaching gusts of nearly 22 kilometers per hour, according to local race reports. For many human runners, the sudden resistance threw off pacing strategies, but for Tiangong Ultra, it was an unexpected battlefield test. In those critical moments, the robot's adaptive balancing algorithm kicked into overdrive. Onboard gyroscopes detected micro-tilts in real time, and the AI subtly shifted its posture, adjusting hip rotation angles and narrowing its stride by just 1.3 centimeters to lower its center of gravity. Observers later noted that while several human athletes stumbled on the exposed stretch of road, Tiangong Ultra pressed forward without a single visible misstep. Internal performance data released by the Tiangong Robotics Lab after the event revealed that the robot made an astonishing 21,800 corrective balance actions during the entire race, averaging about 17 adjustments every second. Each correction wasn't just about survival, it was about optimizing forward momentum while minimizing energy waste, something no remotely controlled robot has ever accomplished on such a scale. It's a mechanical feat that mirrors the adaptive instincts of elite marathoners, and it's something engineers are now studying intensely to refine future autonomous systems. Energy conservation was another tightrope act. Even with its hybrid battery and supercapacitor system, Tiangong Ultra operated close to the limits of its energy reserves by the final kilometers. Engineers explained that during downhill sections, regenerative braking captured about 6.8% of expended energy, slightly less than initial projections due to friction loss and temperature variables. Still, that small gain extended Tiangong Ultra's runtime by nearly 10 minutes, just enough to prevent a forced shutdown before crossing the finish line. 
Had the race conditions been just a few degrees hotter or the terrain rougher, the outcome might have been very different. Crossing the finish line at a time of 2 hours, 56 minutes, and 12 seconds, Tiangong Ultra recorded an average speed of around 7.2 kilometers per hour, comparable to that of an amateur human runner aiming for a personal best, and it did so while carrying all its computational hardware, energy supply, and stabilization mechanisms on board. No external assistance, no pit stops, no tethered power cables. To put that into perspective, the energy equivalent consumed during the race was roughly 1.8 kilowatt hours, about the same amount of energy a typical laptop uses running at full capacity for three straight days. The world took notice immediately. Global news outlets from the BBC to South China Morning Post covered the event, highlighting not just the technical triumph but the broader implications for future mobility. Robotics experts like Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University praised the achievement, calling it a definitive turning point for humanoid autonomous locomotion, noting that endurance, not just dexterity, has always been the Achilles heel of bipedal machines. Public fascination exploded even faster. Video clips of Tiangong Ultra powering down the final stretch racked up over 85 million views across YouTube, TikTok, and Weibo within the first 48 hours. Memes flooded social media with images of the robot wearing marathon medals and captions joking that Boston 2040 will be a whole new ball game. Hashtags like number sign robot runner and number sign ultra Tiangong trended for days. Yet beyond the memes, there was a sense of genuine awe. People weren't just laughing, they were imagining. Imagining what a world with machines capable of long-distance endurance might actually look like. Behind closed doors, the potential application sparked serious conversations. Disaster response agencies began quietly reaching out to Tiangong Lab, exploring the possibility of adapting the technology for search and rescue operations in earthquake zones and collapsed buildings. Space exploration agencies also expressed interest. A robot capable of self stabilized energy managed travel over long distances without direct human input could be a game changer for future missions to Mars or the Moon, where terrain is unpredictable and communication delays make remote control nearly impossible. Meanwhile, Tiangong Ultra's creators aren't standing still. Early reports suggest the team is already preparing for the next logical step, a full marathon. That's 42.195 kilometers, double the distance and exponentially more punishing. The upcoming version, rumored to be codenamed Tiangong X, is said to feature major upgrades, improved cooling systems to handle thermal buildup, smarter energy recapture technology possibly using piezoelectric fibers embedded in the robot's joints, and even predictive terrain mapping abilities that could allow it to anticipate changes in footing several meters ahead. According to a white paper leaked online, the Tiangong X could potentially cut marathon completion time down to around four hours, a milestone that would rival mid-level human runners. Of course, while the mechanical and AI improvements are dazzling, the philosophical implications are just beginning to unfold. What happens when machines aren't just tools but independent agents capable of sustaining themselves in dynamic environments for hours or days at a time? Where do we draw the line between autonomy and responsibility when a robot faces unpredictable dangers or makes a decision that affects humans nearby? These are the questions ethicists and engineers are now grappling with spurred forward by what started as as an ambitious experiment in mechanical endurance. In the end, watching a humanoid machine cross that finish line under its own power, using its own judgment, recalibrating every microsecond of the way, felt like witnessing the first few steps into a world where the boundary between human and machine movement becomes astonishingly thin. And if you think this was impressive, just wait. The next time a race is announced, the competitors lining up at the starting line might not all be flesh and blood. Some might be circuits, steel, and artificial neurons, running not just to win, but to to redefine what it means to move, to endure, and to evolve. If this glimpse into the future blew your mind, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button if you're excited to see where robotics goes next, and drop a comment below. Would you ever challenge a robot to a race? Until then, we'll see you at the next finish line.